host is J Max Reacts, and I'm watching interesting videos that come through my feed. And this one is by Jawbreaker Juice. It says, "The worst college professor ever." Let's see what he has to say. So I'm in college right now, and I study computer engineering. You're probably wondering what it's like for your major to be computer engineer. It goes a little bit like this. What <laughs> a sonic music! sucks and my programming teacher from freshman year didn't help either and today i got i gotta expose him i'm sorry i had this trash professor that just ruined my perspective on programming i won't say his name here, even though he deserves it don't do it his name is michael jones that's m-i-c-h-a no i'm just playing that wasn't his name y'all <laughs> chill out but for the sake of this video we're gonna call him mr jones okay so in mr jones's class we're supposed to learn about basic computing and coding so he starts talking about basic stuff teachers talk about on the first day you know syllabus the rules what to expect and i slowly started to realize his voice was kind of annoying <laughs> when he was explaining what the class was about he was like so you guys are gonna learn how to code on these computers <laughs> he said he sounded like he sounded like a country squidward. No offense if you sound like that. Just just don't talk to me, bro. And I forgot to mention, this class was at 8 a.m. in oh, the morning. No. So I'm already Never. annoyed because I gotta wake up so early for class. If you about to go to college, let me tell you right now, do not get those 8 a.m. classes. It's not like high school, bro. Ever. Especially if you're out of state. If you don't got your mom waking you up, you're not gonna wake up, bro. Trust me. He would be explaining about the class, but for some reason, for like a week straight, he just repeated himself over and over. We went mm -hmm. five classes and still <laughs> didn't learn anything. He just kept on going over what the class was about and the rules. So now I'm thinking, okay, I got a bad feeling about this because my professor is an NPC and his script is glitching. So I had to sit there and endure this guy's annoying voice. And I was trying so hard not to make a face because I sat closest to him. But his voice Ooh, was the least of my problems. Turns out, Mr. Jones was just a complete jerk. So we had to partner up and present a PowerPoint, right? And every group that went up and presented, instead of letting them get through it, he would stop them and just start roasting us. Look at him right there. What's wrong with him? Is he sick or something? Y'all think I'm joking. He actually said that. Another group went up and he literally clowned their outfits. I'm not lying. He was like, look at how they dressed. They're not even dressed for a presentation. Like, bro, it's 8 in the morning. You want us to put on a suit and tie for a, for a five-minute presentation? What do you think this is, the Met Gala? He was just so weird. Weird. He acted like he was just better than all of us. He treated the classroom like it was an episode of Wild and Out. How depressing is your life <laughs> that you gotta embarrass your own students for your own pleasure? Who are you trying to impress? The college girls that's a third your age? Freaky boy, freaky boy. Let me tell you right now, bro, it's not happening. I mean, look at you. Just the way he looked made me so mad. It just made me hate him more. He was built like a deep breath, like a Samsung battery. And I didn't mention <laughs> the fact that he would drink Pepsi every day oh, uh, at I know 8 a.m. in the morning. Every time he walked in, he would be carrying a fresh Pepsi like they sponsored him. No wonder he was built the way he was. I know bro's blood was black. So the first few weeks of class, he would teach us the most mundane things ever. Like he was literally teaching us how to use Microsoft Word and how to turn on a computer. I'm not lying. He was teaching us like it was still the 90s and the internet just became a thing. But I wasn't mad at it. I was like, okay, this class is going to be pretty easy. I can get used to this. Then out of nowhere, one day in the middle of class, he went up to the board and just started writing a bunch of zeros and ones. So now I'm like, okay, th this has gotta be a prank, right? <laughs> Where's the cameras? And then he started adding them together and legit said to my face, one plus one equals zero. <laughs> what? My whole life they told me one plus one equals two. Then we started learning binary code. All, all of a sudden we gotta throw that out the window. Yes. And then we started doing actual coding. And this is where Mr. Jones just made me despise him. No None shit. of us have ever done coding before. We were here to learn how to do it. The closest experience I had to coding was Redstone and Minecraft. And I sucked that redstone. So he knows we're beginners at this. Tell me why every time someone would ask for help, he'd be like, it's your program. Just tell it what to do. Just the laziest cop no. I've ever heard. He never actually showed us how to code. He would just dump the work on us and tell us to look at the resources online for help. Well, I tried that and it didn't help either. He okay. set it up so terribly. Well, like some of the content was in Latin. I have screenshots. Yeah, I know I always bring the proof. There's no way this guy is a computer professional and don't know how to set up online stuff. And I ain't sit there and just accept defeat. You could blame me if I wasn't trying or if I wasn't trying to get help. I will always go up to this bum and ask questions. But no matter what, this information was so vague and useless. It's like he didn't want us to pass. I started hating this guy so much. I started having ideations of just walking up to him and punching him in the mouth. 
in front of the whole class and just run off. What are you gonna do? Chase me? He's so coked up on Pepsi, he might pass out. Damn. There was one assignment where we had to make a specific program, right? And the whole class was just completely lost. Nobody knew what was going on. So he put up his code on the big screen to explain it. But instead of letting us see it, he just scrolled through the whole thing super fast. Every time he pulled it up, he would just do the same thing, just blast through it. Like, what was the point of this? It got to the point where when he pulled it up, we had to pull out our phones and record it before he closed the window again. Did he ever run it for y'all to me see? Why should we have to take these extreme measures to learn, bro? This is so strange. Next thing you know, it was the end of the semester and I literally learned nothing. I was still confused and we had to do a final project where we pretty much had to combine everything that we learned. At this point, I was like, okay, I don't care. I'm gonna harass this guy until I get what I need from him. And I guess this was the most work he's ever had to do because when I went up to him another time he just straight up showed me his code he didn't even bother explaining it just lazy and the code had things that we'd never even seen before there were some things in there that he hasn't even taught us so he expected me to complete this assignment with things that we didn't even learn. What I look like? Megamind? Dexter's <laughs> Laboratory? Um, according to my calculations, no, bro. He ended up having to curve everybody's final grade of course. because no one knew what they were doing. I'm uh -huh. still trying to figure out how this guy even got hired. But I was right. like, whatever. I'm done with this class. I don't got to see this bum again. Next semester come around, and in my next coding class, he's it's my him. professor again. Yep. <laughs> the accuracy of this. I got a whole story to say after this. I got so mad and nervous at the same time knowing this guy was my teacher again because now I knew what he was all about. Mm -hmm. He started his lazy teaching again where he would just go through one PowerPoint and leave it up to us to figure out the rest. This time, I knew I couldn't rely on him. I had to use YouTube to teach myself how to code. Some guy on my screen did a much better job explaining C++ mm -hmm. than Mr. Jones ever could but mr jones wasn't done being a bum he hasn't reached his final form yet so he would do this thing where every time you had to resubmit an assignment because you did something wrong he would take off 10 whole points so you forget coming. something simple like forgot to put your name on the top boom that's 10 points off we will end up with i had a stats professor y'all that actually gave us 10 points for writing our full name when i was in college real shit and i forgot to put my name at the top of my paper one time and got 10 points off because of that 70s and 80s on assignments that we eventually did perfect just because we had to change a few things. Even if you forgot something as simple as punctuation, he'd give you a 90 just to slight you. A hundreds didn't exist in this class. And when people will call him out on it, he will laugh like it was funny. It don't make no sense. Like you can't be a trash teacher and then a strict grader at the same time. I started feeling like I was trapped. I had no way of passing this guy's class because bro don't want me to pass. And there was nothing I could do. He was able to just get away with this. Once I was talking to my dad and he was like, how's school going? And I'm like, my programming teacher sucks. And my dad was like, what's his number? I want to talk to him. And I was like, uh, okay. I was panicking at first, because let's be real. Nobody wants their parents talking to their teachers. But I was like, you know what? Maybe this is a good thing. My dad's going to see how much of a bun this guy is and understand why I can't stand him. Mm -hmm. Two minutes later, I get a call back. Hello? Hey, I talked to your professor. He's a nice guy, actually. Huh? Let him help you. He's there to help. No, he's, he's a good not. guy. I can tell. <laughs> that would be me, too. Ah! I just can't win. I just can't win. <clears throat> Everything I do. Mr. Jones is one step ahead. Since Mr. Jones was so useless, me and some other classmates will help each other with the assignments. And one day he just came up to us and guess what he said? Looks like you guys are cheating over here. I know I like can't report this. You gotta be kidding. And I thought he was kidding, so I didn't even think about it much. Then a few days later, he came up to me and he was like, so I went to the higher ups and told them about what y'all did, but they say that it was okay, so you're fine. Right. So you're telling me you put my whole college career at risk for no reason? Exactly. This man was African slap distance. You don't understand. I've never snapped at somebody in public, but this was the closest I've ever been. I wanted to smack him so bad we exchanged skin tones. He was actually okay with getting me kicked out of college. They it was like his that. fault that we even had to help each other in the first place. Exactly. Week. And he had that same smug look on his face. Like, bro, I'm trying to pass this class. I ain't trying to get a C. Bother me one more time. I'm going to drown you in your Pepsi. Mm. I'm tired of all these ones and no's. I'm going to pull out the nine. I know your big self was first at the table asking mommy, is it dinner time? <laughs> okay. Roasted. I'm, I'm flicking you back and forth like a yo-yo. You got nowhere to go. Mm. I don't need your head on a platter. I need it to go. Mm. Hope you got insurance. You're going to need flow. Mm. I'm going to feed you to my pet monkey. His name Pogo. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Anyways, I ended up passing the class. Really okay. No thanks to Mr. Jones. I still hold a grudge against this guy to this day because he had me thinking I was dumb and I wasn't trying. But I realized that he was just a trash professor and really just a trash person in general. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Jones, if you're watching this, I'm going to haunt you. I've already made plans. This is emotional right now. It's too late. Don't look behind you. Oh my God. Okay. 
That was hilarious. Such a good one. And I feel that with every fiber of my being. I didn't know clicking on it. I thought he was going to talk about like a history class or something like that. Not a coding class um, or, or a computer engineering degree. So before I switched into, um, before I transferred colleges and went into the College of Business to do information systems management, I was a computer science major. And one of the biggest turnoffs to me was that I would have had to go through so many coding classes, y'all. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. But even with IS management, I still had to take um, two programming classes. And one of them was more of a, um, it was like Linux based. It was just weird. It, was, it wasn't like a programming language. Um, but the second one, like he just said, in his second course, he took C++. They wouldn't let me take a, a simpler thing like Java. I had to take C++ with my with my programs track. And as God is my witness, I had a very similar professor experience. I didn't hate my professor because we knew he was going to curve stuff. And he really didn't care much about us actually learning it because he knew we weren't going to use it necessarily. He just more so wanted to make sure we were progressing. And we were thinking about things logically. So, like... I failed the class on paper, but like he still gave me a B at the end of the course because I actually made attempts, one, to talk to him about it, but two, he could see where I was getting better at doing the process. Could never debug the code that I that I was um, working on. It was a simple bank program. I hated it. I think I got it one time. <laughs> and it might have been a semicolon or something that was throwing it off. But like he said in this video, it, it'll make you just want to fight everybody from your parents who don't get it to the professor and even your classmates who don't get it so y'all trying to help each other y'all still fucking up but i asked the question of when the professor was scrolling and showing the code did he ever run it did he successfully run his own code because if he could at, at that point it's like okay i'm gonna trust that he know what he's talking about at that point but if he didn't successfully run it or debug it or whatever it is because i forgot the terminology at this point no he cannot be trusted <laughs> Anybody that drinks Pepsi at 8 a.m. cannot be trusted. And yes, what he said in the video is true to my, you know, newly going to college. If you're thinking about it next year, don't take an 8 a.m. If you're not a morning person, do not take an 8 a.m. I never did. I don't think I ever had a class before noon in my entire college career. <laughs> and if you're doing something like IT, IS, um, computer science and stuff like that, and you learn better in an online format, make sure you get as many online classes as you can because that's what helped me. Tremendously, I love being at home with Spotify, so I'm on TV and I'm doing my homework at the same time. I didn't like being in class. I'm not a visual learner, I'm an auditory learner. So like, even when I do reaction videos, if y'all see me looking down, stuff like that, I'm listening because that's how I, that's how I intake information. But like, this was good. <laughs> Super funny, sorry for my little rant, but that was my little story time about my college experience with a very similar professor. Shout out to Jarbreaker Juice. Let me know what you thought about this below. Comment, like, subscribe until next time. Peace.